Greetings. Thank you for tuning in to the 17th edition of Education This Week by Indic Education. My name is Ravina and I come back here every week to give you the news in education, which is admissions, entrance exams, changes in curriculum, lockdown regulations and much more. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow all our social media handles. Now, let's quickly look at our headlines for education this week. Haryana government closes schools in four NCR districts due to air pollution. National Education Survey conducted with 96% schools participation from 24 states. CBSE Term 1 exams from 16th November with new pattern. College Category 488 teachers hold rally for grant in aid facilities as a result of escalated levels of air pollution in the Delhi NCR region, the Haryana government has closed schools in four districts Sonipat, Jhajar, Faridabad, and Gurugram until conditions improve. Other than closing the government and private schools, all construction work has also been stopped until air conditions are better so that educational institutions can soon return to their routine and continue offline classes for students. The decision was made by the Haryana government after the Delhi government too recently announced the closure of schools in order to prevent school children getting health issues from pollution exposure. The Haryana Disaster Management Authority has placed these new guidelines to be strictly followed from the 14th to the 20th of November in the state. Although it is a speculation that Delhi may go into a temporary lockdown yet again to let the city breathe. Government offices too have been functioning on a work-from-home model for the time being. About 96% of the schools from 24 states participated in the National Education Survey to assess competencies acquired by children in the 3rd, 5th and 8th grades, with 92% of the targeted sample students. The survey is conducted once every three years, but was last conducted in 2017. The survey was conducted in the different languages of instruction provided at the sampled schools. Due to take place in 2020, the NAS had been postponed to this year. But it can be seen as a first successful move towards implementing the National Education Policy, which was launched in 2020. The survey not only tested students' competencies, but also surveyed the school management and teachers to see where improvements can be made. This will help understand the background, teacher training improvement areas, urban-rural learning gaps, effectiveness of online education and other infrastructural needs. It will also help set a comparison of learning outcomes from before and after the pandemic to add appropriate solution measures. As per the new exam pattern, the CBSE Board has decided to conduct exams in two terms from this year. The CBSE 12th grade exams began on the 16th of November and Class 10 exams commenced on the 17th. Over 20 lakh students are appearing for the CBSE exams this year, for which the second term examinations will be conducted in the months of March and April 2022. The duration for the first term exam is 90 minutes and will consist of multiple choice questions. Since the exam papers will be scanned and evaluated, students cannot leave any questions unanswered. They will have to encircle one of the four options against every question. The internal assessment marks too have been divided into 10 marks each term for class 10 and 15 marks each term for class 12. Members of all Odisha aided colleges otherwise known as the 488 category, staged a rally in Bhubaneswar on Sunday, the 14th of November, demanding that the government provide them with grant-in-aid facilities, including pension, promotions, name in cadre list and 7th pay commission salary. Hundreds of teachers participated in the protest, which included a TV playing news clips of the Chief Minister's announcement to stop the block grant system in 2017 which was then replaced with the grant in aid system. It was claimed that they were deprived of promotions and transfer facilities that have been given to junior teachers. 
We hope you got an interesting view into the events of education this week. Subscribe to Indic Education, like and share the video and do leave your comments below. Come back to our channel next week for a brand new episode and until then take care. This is Ravina signing off.